Uh, yeah, John's mother was Kathleen. Start it off and tell us who he was. Okay, well, um, my husband, John Maxwell, his mother was Kathleen Gunning. And she married Billy Maxwell, who was a chemist in Enniskillen. Anyway, her four brothers all joined up in the First World War. The youngest one was too young. He joined the sort of cadet part of the Navy. Um, and Jack, the oldest one, went into the Navy. And the two middle ones, Cecil and Douglas, joined the Dublin Fusiliers, the PALS Brigade, who formed up on the rugby ground in Lansdowne Road. Now, they would have been a more prosperous family than my background because um, their father was the actuary, Sinclair Gunning was the actuary of the Savings Bank in Enniskillen. And they lived at that time in Willoughby Place. Um, and Sinclair had married Kathleen Benson, whose father was originally from Letterbreen, but he had come up uh, through his career in the post office in London and came back as postmaster to Enniskillen. But the, the Gunning brothers, they'd all gone to Pretoria, they played rugby. Uh, they, there was a big tradition of them going into the bank. All four of them went into the bank. The oldest brother, Jack, ended up as the head of the, you know, the which is the Merchant Hotel now in Enniskill. And they lived in that house. That was their house, as the bank headquarters. Anyway, Cecil and Douglas joined the Dublin Fusiliers and went out to Gallipoli kept a diary. The local museum has a copy of the diary, a photocopy of it. Uh, it's very, very interesting. I'll not tell you all about that at the minute, but it was, uh, you know, uh, idyllic going out on the ship and, and uh, there was a canvas swimming pool and board and died and stopping in Alexander and buying oranges and all this. I mean, they had no idea what they were going to. Then they landed on the beach and met some of the people they recognised from Enniskillen who were with the Enniskillings there. Anyway, it was pretty horrific and um, uh, Cecil, uh, Douglas was invalided home first on a hospital ship. Uh, it was uh, d disease and dysentery that got a lot of them. Um, and uh, Cecil, uh, it was eventually invalided home as well via Egypt. But uh, Douglas came home to recuperate and um, you know, there's this strong feeling of arriving home. You know, they felt very strongly that they were Irish and coming home to Dublin uh, was a huge thing for them. Um, and he made his way back to Enniskillen. Uh, but, he, you know, he was having nightmares and all kinds of things. He was traumatised. But he enlisted again with the uh, Enniskillings and went out to France and, uh, you know, the last entries, uh, you know, uh, at first he was sort of, you know, trying to reassure the mother, you know, uh, that he was managing okay. But the last message home, you know, was all about the, the deafening roar and how, how terrible it was, really. But anyway, he was killed. He um, had had a finger shot off first. Uh, and he went to a dressing station and he could have gone back. He would have had every reason, you know, with a blighty to go home, but he insisted on in staying with his men, went over the top. And I mean, his body was never found. There was nothing to bury. So uh, that was a big trauma uh, in that family. And then John's mother was the youngest. She was the only girl, you know. And uh, and their their father died just before Douglas was killed, so he never knew. So the mother was left, and the other boy still in the war. So anyway, um, 